Okay, so I am feeling very inadequate lately. And I don't like feeling like that. Fucking sucks. There's a lot of pressure built into being an adult. (laughs) Taking care of yourself is very hard. (laughs) And I have to take care of myself and two kids and be a roommate and be a girlfriend. We're expecting a, a kid. And I know you're probably thinking, well, you sure as hell brought all of that onto yourself, didn't you? And I did. I really did. I could have decided not to have this kid. I could have decided to stay put where I was at in my life. Not have a roommate. (laughs) I could have chosen to never have kids. But, um, I fell in love with life. I fell in love with what life is all about. And it's about, well, it's not about the external. It's not about what you have and what you don't have. It's not about going out and drinking and partying and doing whatever the fuck you want. Having no responsibilities. For me, it's about human connection and growth in our journeys and ourselves. And love. And relationships and people. That's what life is about for me so I could have chosen not to have kids and be a free woman (laughs) but I wanted to live so I'm gonna complain about life god damn it (laughs) for for a minute feeling inadequate because I chose life not being able to keep up with the regular or the norm of things not being able to make my half of the rent not being able to find a steady full time job not being able to be fully present for my kids it's infuriating and it's debilitating and it's makes me feel like less of a person because of that pressure, that stress that we have. So, where do I go from here? What do I do? How do I find my way? Well, feeling inadequate is not going to help (laughs) that's pretty I'm sure but I'll sit in that feeling for a moment probably let out a few tears and then go from there This is not the way I originally wanted to do my intro to this channel. Um, (laughs) I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my creative outlets and creative projects. And I just felt that my iPhone SE camera was not worthy of filming for any of these videos um, (laughs) right now. So... 
until I upgrade my phone or find a good camera to use, uh, this will be the temporary style of the channel, and for that I do apologize. But I may as well introduce myself. My name is Sage. I'm 28. I am a mother. I have two kids, and I'm currently eight weeks along with my third. And I feel like over the past few years, I've been going through this intense spiritual journey. I mean, technically I feel like life is one big, giant spiritual journey, but uh, (laughs) there are periods of our lives where I feel like, I don't know, it's almost like the the veil is lifted and and you just you see more you understand more you just you take it all in a little bit more and there's different levels of that I I feel like and I I just I don't know I I want to say since 2015 (laughs) when I first became a mother I feel like that's kind of when everything started for me, really. And uh, I I wanted to share my experiences and my journey. And not just from 2015, but, you know, I've had a I've had a pretty interesting life. (laughs) And I've gone through life feeling very alone in that, you know, not not being able to connect with others the way that I would like. And I, I kind of wanted to create a space where I could do that. And so originally I had planned on making, you know, some type of video diary kind of style channel, which, you know, is not a bad idea. I definitely am probably going to, you know, do that every once in a while for sure I mean I have a lot to share but I also wanted this channel to be a beacon for other people as well where you know you can share your stories and your struggles your traumas your rants your successes I wanted this to be a place of empowerment where we support each other we love each other we care about each other we want to see each other growing into the best versions of ourselves right and that takes a lot i mean that's huge it's big healing big transformation but it doesn't have to be so isolating i feel like So I wanted this channel to to be about that and I'm a pretty spiritual person. <laughs> you know, I I'm not religious. I'm not you know, trying to convert people into you know, my you know, my specific, you know, spiritual views and and practices or whatever that I do, but I definitely would love to share at least how how I've been growing and transforming. So yeah. We'll see we'll see where this goes. It's it's a it's a work in progress. I'm still just going with the flow of things and I feel like that's how people should be in general. You know, it's really hard for for us to let go of control and to just let life be. I feel like that's where a lot of our stress and anxiety and fear come from. It's just that overthinking of 
our futures and who we're supposed to be and just that pressure is is so intense and it creates so much chaos (laughs) internally you know so why don't we uh why don't we work on that together and be present be vulnerable allow yourself to feel what you're feeling what you're going through but have that support of other people going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing to help you through it so yeah I think that's that's it that'll that'll be my intro and uh I hope you guys tag along with me through this next journey of mine I look forward to meeting all of you and hearing all of your stories. So, stay tuned. I'll be figuring everything out from here on. Much love.